Now I gotta say, I personally never really understood love until I actually experienced it. And regardless of whether you're 25 or 65, it's possible that you haven't yet experienced it either. And if that's the case, don't worry about it, don't freak out. I need you to realize that sometimes when you least expected by the way someone comes in your life so unexpectedly they take your heart by surprise and everything changes you forever and this can happen to you at any age at any time so regardless if you've never felt it before or if you seem to feel it like every three months with a different guy you're gonna learn the three different types of love and what love really is in this video keep watching Hey there, my name is Adam Little with sexyconfidence.com where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And in this video, we're talking all about love. Now love in its purest sense is really just a chemical bond between two people. And according to a team of scientists led by Dr. Helen Fisher at Rutgers, romantic love can really be broken down into three categories, lust, attraction and attachment. And believe it or not, each category is actually characterized by its own set of hormones and chemicals that are stemming right here from the noggin. And this has been my own experience as well because I've been coaching both men and women for the past eight years on finding love and being able to keep love in their life. And I found that regardless of what stage they're in, people seem to act very differently, especially when they are in a different stage than the man that they meet. The man is in a totally different stage than they're in. So let's dive into each one and as I go through these I want you to think about how you act during each of these stages and how men act towards you when they are in a different stage than you're in. So the first chemical bond is lust. This is sexual gratification. That guy that you go out you meet out at night and he's different. He's unique but you know you're not necessarily really interested in something long term right? There's something different about him. There's something crazy and what happens is when you meet him and he meets you there's just this constant this overflow of for your end there's estrogen and on his side there's testosterone and this is what lust is right you see each other you know each other and this is where a lot of one night stands happen right you you start flirting clearly there's chemistry there's just that bond that you can't even describe and you just have to be together that my friends is lust and if you only have lust Sorry, but you haven't found love yet. Now let's go to chemical bond number two, which is attraction. Now attraction is kind of similar to lust, but it does have its own kind of distinct phenomenon. All right, it's very, it is different from that. It's similar, but it's different. Um, and attraction is really, you're drawn to that person, but you're also drawn to their personality. You're, you just want to be around them. And this is when your dopamine and neuropiniferine, everything just starts flowing in your brain. You can't eat, you can't sleep, you can't stop thinking about them. You get that giddy feeling constantly, just the thought of them being in your life. And this is a lot of times what happens during the honeymoon phase of a relationship. It's just that massive amount of attraction. You, of course, also have lust for them as well, but there's something more to it as well. So when this happens to you, you probably see that a lot of your feelings are irrational. A lot of your actions are irrational. If you only have lust and you only have attraction, I would still argue that you don't have love yet. Then finally, the third chemical bond is attachment. This is the essentially the friend zone of a relationship. This is where you truly get to know each other on a much deeper emotional level. This is where the oxytocin really starts to kick in, where you're starting to bond with one another and it makes sense for evolutionary purposes. If you're going to spend a long time together and procreate together, basically it makes the most sense for you to stay together as a monogamous relationship in order to raise children. And this is the stage when you get to the attachment phase where love really exists. Now, of course, when it comes to love, it's all about balance. You want the right amount, right? You want that beautiful concoction of lust, attraction, and attachment. But if you get too much of any one of these things, what happens? You get jealousy, you get irrational behavior, you get cheating, you get like binge eating, you get the really unhealthy, overly emotionally attached uh, behaviors that come along with too much of any of these things. Essentially, you go 
crazy. And you're here right now because you want that long-term relationship. And that's what sexy confidence is all about. So when you're going out there and meeting new people, I, of course, you're going to have lust. You're going to have attraction. You're going to have attachment. But I want to ask you, what should your focus be when you're going out and meeting men? I'm going to put up a survey right there. We'll give you just one second. What should you focus on? Lust, attraction, or attachment? Click on the survey right there and I'll be right back while you do that. All right, cool. Now that you've done that, for those of you who chose attachment, then you are absolutely right. When it comes to attracting the one, finding a great long-term relationship, you want to focus on what I call finding the best friend that you're attracted to. And that's what attachment's all about. It's all about finding that best friend and finding that long-term lasting commitment with your love, with basically your loved one. This is the person that you're going to get married to and have children with. And a lot of times it really can take longer than even a year or even two years for that true attachment to kick in. Sometimes it can take three, even four years until you're truly attached to that person. So be patient, give it time, and allow yourself to really get to know that person before diving fully in. So I want to hear from you. Leave a comment right there below if you agree or disagree with this definition of love. I'd love to hear from you. And also, please give it a like on YouTube if you enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos just like this. And finally, if you want a free training that's going to dive into how to find love and make it happen in your life, go ahead and click right there or click the link in the description. And I have a webinar that's going to really walk you through this process. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll speak to you next Sunday, you sexy single lady. Bye-bye.